hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider and today we are going to talk about what is pre-request script in postman so let's have a look at the agenda for today so we are going to talk about what do you mean by pre-request script and i'll show you demo with the help of an example what is pre-request script and later on we'll talk about what is the order of execution of pre-request script and test script so if you talk about test script i have already created a video uh, in part 9 where we have spoken about how we put the different validations checkpoints or assertions as part of test script so if you haven't watched that video then i would recommend first go and watch that part 9 and then come back to this video so today we'll focus on what is pre-request script and later on we'll discuss about what is the order of execution i'll show you a demo with the help of postman tool so let's get it started so what is pre-request script so the name says itself pre-request script so the script runs before the request starts before we proceed with the actual http request so you can use pre-request scripts in postman to execute javascript before a request runs correct so there is a request when we put the request we'll get some response so when uh, we put the pre-request script so here we put the pre request script before the actual request starts we put the uh, pre-request javascript before the request starts and once we get the response here we put the test script so this is the difference between how we put the pre-request script and test script pre-request script and test script so to validate the uh, like whether we are getting the correct code or not correct uh, http HTTP code whether we are getting the correct response or not uh, whether we are getting the correct headers or not all these validations we put after the once we received the response so this will be executed after the once we received the response this test script will be executed and pre-request will be executed before the request starts so you can use add pre you can add pre-request script at request level collection level or folder level so there are different levels which where we can put the pre-request script similar to test script as well so test scripts also we can add at request level collection level or folder level i'll show you with the help of demo as well you can use pre-request script for setting variable values so question arises here is like why we use pre-request script so if you have seen uh, in manual testing also before we start the actual testing before we uh, uh, execute our test cases we used to have some kind of preconditions whether the environment is ready or not whether site is up and running or not some kind of checkpoints right before we some kind of precondition before we start our actual testing here also in api testing we have pre-requested script where we set variable values parameters headers and body data so we'll see some examples as well uh, like how we are set set pre-request script now let's talk about uh, the order of execution how it will be executed so as i have uh, discussed earlier there are three levels which where the where we can put our pre-request script so this left side is nothing but the pre-request script and this is the uh, test script once we receive the response we get the uh, we used to write the test script correct now what is the order of execution suppose we put pre-requested script or test script at different levels at collection level folder level and request level so how it will be executed so when we put the pre-requested script the collection level will be executed first and later on folder level will be executed thirdly request level will be executed similarly for test script first collection level will be executed second folder level and third request level so this is how the order of execution between test uh, pre-request script and test script now let me show you demo with the help of uh, postman tool so this is what we have spoken about earlier about the uh, uh, test script so here we have tab called test where we put all our assertions now we have another tab over here pre-request script tab tab right pre-request tab you can see different types over here params authorization headers body pre-request test settings so here we have test and here pre-request script so we used to write pre-request script over here now let me create a sample uh, collection so that uh, you can understand better i will not use the previous collections 
so let me give name like uh, pre request demo i have created a collection called pre request demo and inside that what i'll do i'll create a folder i will not create any request directly i'll create a folder first so here if you go to if you select this collection and here we have three dots from here we can add a folder so i'll give like sample folder so here we have created sample folder now i'll create a request uh, request over here inside this folder i have created a get request get request right now what uh, what i'll do we give simple name like uh, request one request on one only okay okay now i'll copy simple a uh, url from previous collection simply i'll copy this one and i'll put this enter this url uh, on this particular section uh, let me click on save so our request is saved let me try whether it is working or not Let's click on send now we are getting different responses uh, response over here we, we can see like id one two you can see different ids we got the response right let me try uh, if you can get particular id or not so one so let me click on send so here we, we are getting only one response so this url is perfectly working fine now let's see how we can put the pre-request script if you talk about how we can set the variables we have already seen right uh, we can use pre-request script for setting variable uh, variable values parameters headers and body data so let me just give an example how we can set the variable values as part of pre-request script so i have already a, a created a statement how to get the uh, random number uh, from 1 to 10 using this statement this using this javascript so let me simply copy this and i'll put it over here uh, we are using simply a math.floor function okay so you can just uh, write down the function like this and then what i'll do i'll i'll create a variable over here uh, i'll create a uh, what you can say i'll create a local variable okay so how to set very uh, local variable which we have already uh, seen in the last video so pm from pm uh, object we have variables dot set now we are going to set we are going to create the local variable so i'll put double curly braces over here and and i'll put one second i think one calibrates extra so this is how we used to write the variable right uh, how we are passing the value to a variable so let me create a variable over here variable name so i'll give like random random variable correct so how to pass the value from here random variable and then how to pass the value like this and this should be in double quotation second like this one second copy this and i'll put it over here okay so what we have done uh, we have created a function uh, and we are set uh, we use this function math dot random to create a, to generate the random number and store in a variable like random number and then we are setting a variable value right so pm dot variables dot set random variable which we have created a variable over here and we are passing this random number now let me see whether it is working or not whether it is generating the random number or not random whether it is passing the random id over here or not okay so let me just click on send uh, why it is not working random i think there is a space why it is not working yeah now it is working so you can see here we are getting the id 10 correct let me try again so this will generate random number so again we are getting one let me try again so we are getting this time id 5 
so this is how it is generating the uh, random id so what happens here is we are this is our request right so before we uh, we send the actual request we are set, setting some values over here some ids so this is one of the uses of pre request script here we are putting the pre request script correct so this is one of the usage of pre request script send it again we'll get some random number over here random id you can see id 6 now let's talk about the order of execution at different levels so we have created a collection and then folder and then request so how it will be executed so what i'll do i'll put some like console output okay so console uh, messages console.log so this is the statement where we can generate some logs in javascript so simply i'll write over here so this is at request level so simply i'll write uh, you can say log or you can say pre-request script pre-request script and this is at request level request level and this will be third uh, the uh, the execution order of execution will be third right which we have seen earlier in ppt uh, at request level the order of execution will be third so simply i'll copy this statement console.log so once it will be executed we'll see the messages in console let me show you click on send and here we have console from this side we can see how the order of execution will be let me just clear it and let me send it again you will see here pre request script request level 3 so right now we have only uh, one st statement over here this one console.log now let me just copy copy and paste some at some other levels as well so folder level so if you go to folder levels also you we have two uh, three tabs over here authorization pre request script and test script so right now let's let me just put at uh, pre request script request script request level so this will be a folder level folder level so this will be the second level right simply copy this one and come to this uh, collection level here we have different tabs right similar to the other uh, other levels like folder levels so here we have some more tabs of overview authorization pre-request script test script variables and runs so i'll select pre-request script and i'll put it over here and I'll simply I'll select this and what is this collection level and the order of execution will be first now let me just run it right whether it is working or not so come back to request level and uh, it is console is already cleared so let me click on send or the order of execution one second it is not saved i guess so let me save it and pre-request script also let me click on save now it is saved clear this let me send it again so you can see now pre-request script you can see here pre-request script collection level one pre-request script folder level two Pre request script request level 3 so this is the order of execution so the collection level will be executed first and then folder level and then request level now let me uh, show you like how it will be executed at uh, for the test script right so simply i'll copy here copy this and i'll put inside this test level so this is request level so this will be the third and uh, here i'll put test script right so this will be test folder level we'll see this is the folder level uh, under prerequisite request script so i'll copy this and i'll put it inside test script replace with test test script and this level 2 click on save and then come back to come to this collection level copy this and put inside this test test script simply i'll change it to test script and this level one collection level right so simply click uh, three dots and click on save everything is saved let me clear the console and try again whether it is working or not the execution click on send 
now you can see here let me increase the font by pressing control plus you can see pre-request script collection level one pre-request script collect folder level two pre-request script uh, level three and then the test script will be executed right by send after sending this request after sending the request and once we get the response uh, the logs will be executed at uh, at script level test script level test script collection level one test script folder level two and test script request level three so this is how it will be executed so this is all for today uh, guys uh, we have spoken about what is pre-request script and what is the order of execution between pre-request script and test script so let me know if you have any doubts and uh, yeah you can write your doubts in the comment section of this video thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye